Hello, so this is a video where I'm hoping to sort of try and do a simple answer to a question that gets brought up a lot in a lot of my videos and streams. And it's basically, how exactly do gas masks or masks and like NBC suits and things like that protect you from radiation? Because I think a lot of people think radiation is just simply gamma rays, they don't really know about the sort of different types of ionising radiation. So, basically the idea of NBC protective gear is it's a barrier between you and radioactive particles. Now, the main danger from radiation, say following a nuclear attack or something like that, is basically what is called fallout, or fallout dust. And what that is, um, is basically where, when a nuclear uh, bomb goes off, especially a ground burst, there's a massive amount of neutron radiation made, as well as sort of, you know, all the gamma rays and x-rays shooting off and everything else. Dusts and things like Earth that are pulled into the explosion from the bomb hitting the ground become irradiated by the neutrons and then become fallout. And then basically that can spread a very long distance, so think about all this radioactive smoke and dust going everywhere. So basically you don't want to breathe that stuff in. Now, when you get radiation, as um, we've talked about quite a few times in videos, you get alpha, beta, gamma, uh, x-rays, and you also get neutrons. X-rays and gamma radiation is really similar. Um, but basically alpha does the most damage, but it's the least penetrating, and it can't travel very far. Uh, beta is kind of halfway house, and then gamma is... Um, you know, the most penetrating travels the furthest, travels the fastest, but it's actually, um, you know, doesn't do as much damage as it passes through things, because it's not depositing all its energy in something as it passes through it. So, if there's gamma radiation in the air in intense amounts, um, there's not really anything you can do other than not be in the area. Um, that's why, sort of, if, you know, in a Chernobyl liquidator type scenario, you saw them wearing all the lead stuff and, like, as much protection as they could, because if you were going into an intensely radioactive area, the more barriers you can put between you and radiation good, but it's not actually going to protect you all that much because it's impossible. Basically it's just mathematically impossible. Uh, neutrons you don't really have to worry about in everyday life, although, you know, some people argue you do and don't, but for the, for the sake of this video we're not really bothered about neutrons because that makes it a little more complicated. So, the main question I guess people are getting at is how do gas masks and that, or masks like this, protect you from radiation? The answer is simply that the filters on the mask trap as much dust as possible, radioactive fallout from being breathed in by you that would go into your lungs or into your stomach or whatever, and would then be deposited in your body, uh, exposing you to intense amounts of alpha and beta radiation. So basically something like strontium-90, strong beta emitter, if you inhale that it's going to be bombarding your lungs with, um, you know, beta rays, obviously, you know, other things like polonium and things like that, alpha emitters, you breathe those in, they're going to be very, very bad for you. So the point basically is that gas masks and NBC suits make it very easy to decontaminate because if you have somebody with full NBC gear on, you can literally hose them down, um, you know, and they can step out the clothing. And then the idea is that all the radioactive particles are still on the clothing or have been washed down the drain. You know, uh, they're not actually on their person once they get out of the suit. Um, and the idea is that the filters on the mask itself block as many of the particles as possible. It's not going to protect you from all the gamma rays in the air, but it's certainly going to minimise the long-term health risks of inhaling or ingesting radioactive materials, um, sort of like fallout dust and things like that. Um, so, also people mention about lead a lot. The thing is with lead is, yes, while lead does you know, lower the amount of um, gamma rays that get through it, it's not by all that much, so you need a lot of lead for um, high amounts of radiation, not as much as you could humanly wear. So basically, when you see the proper application of lead, it's basically if they've got like a hospital radio, uh, you know, therapy source, basically it's got like lead bricks around it, and the idea is they stop you getting all that close to it due to inverse square law, and also, you know, the point is that they do absorb some of the radiation from getting through. So basically, that's the simple answer. The only thing I didn't cover is you get things as well called reactor filters, and I believe they have some special filter medium in them that captures, I think it's iodine gas, but it's one of those things that's, you know, like a very, very specific application for so, for most people, they're kind of pointless to have, because I think the reason they're called reactor filters is they're designed to work for certain gases that might be found in a reactor that wouldn't be stopped by regular filters. Um, but yeah, the, the simple, basically, answer is, you know, how do gas masks and masks work against radiation? They prevent you inhaling the fallout, which will do the most damage to you over the long term. You know, if a nuke goes off and you're in full NBC gear and you're too close to it, well, you're dead anyway, just from the sake of what the bomb does. You know, and if there's intense gamma radiation fields everywhere, an NBC suit isn't really going to do jack shit to protect you. The point is that, you know, it's a damage minimization thing, and the most damage you can do with radioactive stuff is basically eating or inhaling it. 
as I said, because that is when it gets in your body and it stays in your body and it's bombarding you full force from the inside of alpha and beta rays. You know, so there we go. Hopefully that's explained it. I'm sure there will still be more questions raised by this video, but there you go. The, the, main, the main thing is gas masks and things like that prevent you inhaling radioactive material getting into your lungs or into your mouth.